Hey there, fools. Big T here, and I'm back with another video. This one will be a discussion about Nintendo's narratives being obliterated this generation with the Switch. But first, I want to talk about something that's kind of been going around in the community, a discussion about who's to take credit for third party on the Switch, <laughs> which is insanely ridiculous. It's very simple. There's no secret sauce. There's no magic. It's simple numbers. Who's to take credit for it? It's everybody who bought a Switch. Plain and simple. If you bought a Switch, you are the reason why third-party games are coming to the Switch. And basically, that is about the sales. I made a video a while back called uh, Switch Sales Cures All Ales, and that's exactly what it does. And the point of that video was to say that uh, the Switch has still a pretty good amount of issues. It has, uh, it doesn't have certain features that even the Wii U had. Um, it doesn't have that great amount of third party, even right now. You know, yeah, you, you have Bethesda bringing games. You have, uh, you have uh, Rockstar bringing an old game. You have, you know, Two K. Um, but that's, there's not a whole lot more outside of that as far as big third party support. You have the uh, the whole online situation, which is pretty much at this point worse than we use, and it's still selling. And so that was the point. The the point it has worse issues than the Wii U had and it and because it's selling and it's it's in people's good graces is get it gets good print um that's the only reason that you know those issues aren't as uh, ab abhorrent as they were on the Wii U the Wii U had those issues but it also wasn't selling well and I've made the point that well I believe if the Wii U had sold it, what the Switch is selling uh the third party would have been there and a lot of the issues people wouldn't complain about as much it's pretty obvious you know I don't know what the why it's rocket science to some people yeah so so what are you taking credit for it's it's selling you taking credit for the fact that it's selling well because it still has a lot of the same issues if not more than what the Wii U had the, the only thing that's changed really is the form factor of the switch um, being that it's a handheld as well which is you know a no-brainer for Nintendo because Nintendo handhelds do well uh, are you taking credit for that because that also is a big reason why it sells people love the portable nature of the switch that you can play these you know console games portably um, it's not super powerful a lot of people were oh it's terrible power blah 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 the power is so terrible that hasn't changed <laughs> the switch isn't like a beast as far as the power goes, there isn't a whole, this isn't a super influx of third party, not yet anyway. We haven't seen it. Uh, we have, like I said, there's three or four companies, but the Wii U had way more than that um, when it launched. So I just don't understand what the credit, <laughs> where are you taking credit for? Because the only difference is that it's selling. That's the only difference with the Switch from Switch to Wii U is the form factor um, oh yeah, commercials obviously. Nintendo's way better with the marketing. Uh, so form factor, marketing, and uh, it's selling. <laughs> like there's no credit to be taken. The Wii U, as we all know, had a lot of third party in the beginning. That third party tapered off because the sales of the Wii U tapered off. There was all kinds of games announced for the for the Wii U. That never came out, stuff from EA and whatnot. What happened with EA is a little bit murky with their, you know, unprecedented partnership and why they backed out. Uh, there was rumors about, uh, there was rumors basically that it had to do with uh, Nintendo's online and uh, EA thought they were going to be running that whole show and that fell through and EA bounced. The Switch has issues that need to be rectified, but the sales keep people quiet. It's that simple. People look at the sales of the console, not only that, but also the sales of the games, which is pretty strong right now. So I don't know what this discussion is about. It's kind of silly to me. The people who bought Switch and who continue to buy Switch by the thousands every month, the millions of people who already bought it and people who continue to buy it, those are the reasons why we get third party games. It's that simple and uh, case closed. But honestly, is there any point in going back and forth, you know, trying to prove a point with these bombastic sycophant narcissists who are just seeking attention who misrepresent the situation not only do they misrepresent the situation they knowingly do so uh, for the sake of winning 
and I quote winning, <laughs> winning an argument, um, that's pretty much moot to begin with. These things are said for the sake of winning an argument, not for being factual or credible. It's just, it's just the, uh, the narcissistic nature of needing to be right all the time. Is there any point in really doing that? <laughs> no. Um, cause at the end of the day, whoever has more subscribers wins, <laughs> you know, whoever has the most subscribers wins. And so it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. Uh, you're wrong because you don't have a, you don't have a big enough voice. Uh, so it's just kind of pointless. It's boring. Uh, there's no need to go back and forth about it. So I probably pretty much wasted <laughs> the first few minutes of this video, even talking about it, acknowledging it because I'm feeding right into the stupidity. So it's whatever. This video is about, you know, Nintendo narratives. Another story, an article or something came out recently about Nintendo kind of uh, loosening the reins as far as, you know, mature content uh, coming to their console. And uh, I, I just, I don't know. It's like, I understand where the article's coming from because uh, there are developers coming out saying that Nintendo. Uh, being a little bit more lenient with them. Um, but, you know, there's a contingency of people who, uh, outside of that, there are a contingency of people who seem to think that uh, Nintendo has never embraced mature games or has never been about that life, <laughs> which I don't understand because I'm looking at my my collection for my Nintendo consoles and there's just, you know, mature title after mature title. Uh, and that includes the Wii. Uh, the, you know, there's people out there that thinks, you know, for some reason it's weird for adults to have owned and really liked the Wii. Um, as if there aren't any mature games on it, which there are plenty. Uh, you know, and outside of that, you know, if, they're just people who are just insecure <laughs> about playing a game that says E on it, even though it's just a quality game. You know, despite that, there are plenty of mature titles on the Wii, uh, on GameCube, on Wii U, and I just, I don't ever understood where that narrative came from. I understand that Nintendo has, you know, themselves uh, as a part of why they have that family-friendly mantra. Uh, their first two consoles were called family computers. Uh, the the Famicom, which is basically family computer, and the Super Famicom, which is super family computer, with the NES and SNES. So that's understandable. And they have the Game Boy uh, a line, which was you know aimed at young kids, uh, young adults. The name itself invokes you know young people, and and you know Nintendo. The types of games they make are basically for everyone, for everyone to play. They want um, they want to be a game company who makes games that everybody can play, which I admire. I admire that. Um, they don't go for a specific audience. They go for the entire audience. And it's mostly work for them. Even when they do that, they've had these games. They've had these games that they've courted to their console uh, that is you know a little bit more bloody a little bit more violent and i'm as i'm saying this i'll be showing you some games on my wii and uh, gamecube and you know even my 3ds um so i never understood that aspect of it but i understand that nintendo is actively more active as far as acquiring uh games or you know, some studios uh developers said that they would even think of approaching nintendo uh, just basically based on their reputation, uh, they wouldn't even think of approaching them to make games for the consoles. But Nintendo is now actively pursuing them. As far as them being active, I think it probably started with maybe Bayonetta. They're, they have been active, actively pursuing them, quote unquote, more mature content for quite some time. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the N64 maybe has a stigma. But it would, N64 wasn't getting that many games, period. It had nothing to do with getting mature titles um and you know even then i still have uh some you know more mature titles on that console too but uh as far as the n64 goes i think it's a little different because it struggled to get you know third-party games 
uh, period because of the cost and uh, I've gone over that before so yeah I just want to talk about that quickly and uh, yeah just Nintendo uh, is continuing to do what they've kind of been doing for a while now which is embrace more mature content uh, people seem to forget Bayonetta 2 and <laughs> Nintendo putting ads in Playboy magazine like this is <laughs> not a new thing so I don't know I guess if you're not paying attention you're you just don't know so I got to say about that and again like I said this whole who's to get credit for third-party support on switch is laughable it's numbers plain and simple numbers if you buy it they will come <laughs> to, to quote to uh, semi quote uh, a famous uh, baseball movie from back in the day if you buy it pe uh, the third parties will come they, they haven't you know they know that they have an audience they know you know that it's not as much of a risk if there's an install base it's that simple I mean come on but I guess people are bored there's not a lot to talk about right now so <laughs> these things are happening but anyway uh, let me know what you think in the comments below as always thank you for watching and listening and I'll see you fools next time peace out oh yeah one more thing play Nintendo fools Dude.